Welcome on board the Morella Explorer. We are in an inside cabin here. This is cabin 4187, right at the aft of the ship. And it's actually a pretty big inside cabin. This is probably one of the biggest inside cabins I've ever had. And there is more storage space in here than I've ever had pretty much in any cabin ever. When you come into the cabin, this is what you'll see. There is so much wardrobe space on this side, but I think we'll come back to that later. So walking into the cabin, we've got a full length mirror here. I am wearing a Rugrats t-shirt because we're actually on a 90s themed cruise at the moment, which is fantastic, highly recommended. But coming around here, this is our bed. When we first arrived, it was split into twin beds, but we asked to have it put together as a double. If you do arrive and you're faced with a double bed and you want twins or twins and you want a double, just speak to your cabin steward. They're more than happy to change it. You don't have to deal with it for the whole cruise. They very easily come apart and go together. Coming around to this side, this is a desk. It's a pretty big space. Coming down on this side, we have got six drawers, pretty big drawers. We haven't actually filled up all of these because we're only here for three nights, but you could be in here for a week or two weeks, no problem at all. We've got the premium drinks package, which means that we get some water delivered to our room. Cruises with Morella are all inclusive, but they don't include bottles of water. There are literally hundreds of drinks on the all-inclusive, but the premium all-inclusive gets you things like bottles of water, some premium cocktails and cans of Coke as opposed to fountain Coke. We have got a mini bar down here, which I don't use, a tidy me up and do not disturb. A little note here saying that we have to put our clocks forward or backwards some tissues and a kettle, a kettle and mugs, which are actually a decent size and you can have a good cup of tea in those, that's nice. Up in the buffet, you'll find loads and loads of different types of tea. So what I do is I normally go to the buffet, get a couple of my favorite tea bags and just leave them here. So I've got some peppermint tea, that is my tea of choice and we can just leave it there. And then when you wake up in the morning, you can make yourself a cup of tea which is brilliant. So we've got a few coat hangers here, just in case you need more space to put your things. On this side, we've got another two drawers and a lamp and a telephone. These are also pretty big. So that brings our drawer count to eight. I love these big mirrors. It makes the room feel much bigger than it actually is. I think it's a pretty standard size room, but it definitely feels bigger. One thing to note is that there is a light switch here, right in the middle of the bed. And if you switch it, the main lights will go on or off. We only found that out by pressing that in the middle of the night and the lights come on. So that is just worth noting. No problem at all if you know it is there, but if you don't know it's there and you turn it on in the middle of the night, it can be a bit of a surprise. Here in the middle of the bed, we have got Skipper the Alpaca. He does not come standard with this room. He is mine and I love him a lot. Never seen a blue alpaca before, but he's very, very cute very cute so i just leave him here guarding my cabin when i go out on the other side we have got another lamp and two more drawers so that brings our drawer count to 10 10 drawers is quite a lot and a piece of artwork there the cabin is very neutrally designed it's mostly just wood and mirrors and it is light there's nothing to particularly dislike or particularly like this ship is actually pretty old i think it's from 1996 but you would never know by staying in this cabin because nothing's broken, nothing's peeling, nothing's flaky. It's all been replaced a lot of times and it is to a very, very high standard. The only thing that might give away how old this ship is, is this type of wood. This type of wood is normally used on kind of older cruise ships and now they might go for a, a dark wood or a black. On this side, we've got a TV. I think this is a pretty big TV for a cruise ship. We haven't turned it on. We're only here for three days and I don't really spend much time in the inside cabin. I think when you have an inside cabin, you don't really spend much time here. You'll normally just sleep here and shower. If you had a balcony or a suite, you might end up spending more time in the cabin. But I quite like having inside cabins because it means that I get out. This is just a base to wash and sleep. And we're on a 90s themed cruise, which does seem to be a little bit like a festival at sea. So we're pretty much in a festival, but we have clean beds and showers and toilets, which is brilliant, really, really good. Turning around now, we have got a mini bar here. It is a fridge. We have got the mini bar price list here. 
Uh, it's kind of standard prices for a mini bar. I'm never tempted to eat or drink from the mini bar, especially on a Morella cruise when there is so much food and drink included. But that is there if you really, really, really need a little vodka, you can get one from the mini bar. Coming onto this side on the left now, we have got a huge double wardrobe with some hanging space there and places for your things. We actually put our suitcase in there because we had so much room and we have got another six drawers down here which brings our drawer count to 16 I think. I do have a maths degree but that doesn't necessarily mean I can count but I think that brings our drawer count to 16. We haven't filled these out because we just don't have enough stuff. It's so much room and this would be a fine wardrobe for a cruise ship if you had this much room only this would be fine and more than you'd find on some cruise ships but that is not all closing that we have got a whole nother wardrobe on this side with even more room loads and loads of hanging space loads of room down there for your shoes I honestly don't think I've ever been in a cruise ship cabin which had so much wardrobe space on this side by the door we've got the safety information and we have got another full length mirror maybe this is why the cabin feels so big because there are mirrors everywhere this does kind of make things look a bit strange because I'm filming this on a GoPro but it is indeed straight it's not all bendy we are right at the aft of the ship and there's only one cabin beyond us so we're almost right at the back we do feel the vibrations here that is a problem that comes with having a cabin right at the back of the ship but it kind of gently wakes us up when we come into port which isn't a bad thing because you could sleep forever in an inside cabin because they are so dark i might just do a quick mirror count because we have one two three four five six mirrors and this mirror actually has things in it you wouldn't know it from looking at this mirror but there's actually things behind this mirror that is where your safe is in this cabin i bet some people never find it but there is the safe and there is more space for stuff just in case you still have stuff moving into the bathroom now it is a fair size there's nothing particularly exciting about this bathroom but there's nothing wrong with it at all We've got a shower on this side, which has a shower door instead of a curtain, which is brilliant. I know some people really don't like the shower curtains. It is looking a little bit dated in here, I suppose, but it's perfectly clean. And that is the main thing with a bathroom. We've got a huge mirror here, absolutely massive. I really like this sink. I think this is really cool. It's obviously been redone. And there's also a lot of space up here for your stuff. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, please consider subscribing. I have loads more Morella content on this channel. I'm going to be bringing you a full 90s cruise review, which will be definitely worth watching. It's unlike any cruise I've ever been on before. Skipper says, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.